Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by. I was watching some videos about these street preachers and people that witness to people on the streets. And the question was asked, is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Are you saved? And it was interesting to see the responses of people. The majority of them did not know Jesus, but there were a few, which goes hand in hand with that verse in the Bible about saying many are called, but few are chosen. There will be many people that will go down the broad road that leads to destruction. There will be a few that will choose wisdom. And that will follow the narrow path. But there was even this one response. This guy cursed and said no. And then there were a few that said I'm an atheist. And they were so proud of it. But the Bible tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But it tells us if you want wisdom ask of the Lord and he will give you wisdom liberally Lord please give me plenty of wisdom I need it God well one night I was sitting in church and the minister was preaching and his subject matter just gripped my soul and I think that we need to be reminded that this is not all there is but there is an eternity to face Lord I pray for each person each viewer today that you will be with them and give them powerful wisdom in this year of 2024 and I pray Lord that you will meet all of their needs all of the precious viewers Lord meet the needs of their families come in like a flood Lord and working all things out for their good leading them and guiding them in the way that you want them to go I pray for each person that they're healed and their families are healed not only spiritually but physically and now please stay tuned for one night Welcome, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. This evening I heard a fiery sermon and I started getting that old familiar feeling. It felt like fire shut up in my bones. So I felt like the Lord was wanting me to speak to you about something. So I think I'd better do that. You know, one of the things I learned in seminary was that prophecy includes preaching, foretelling, and foretelling. It's called the ministry of the word. So God calls his people to speak his word, whether they're male or female. In fact, did you know that in the book of Joel there's a prophecy where God says in the last days I will pour my spirit out upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters will prophesy and I feel very honored that God is including me in the prophetic I just so appreciate that because I love God and I want to do his will not what man says is God's will. So I place myself in his hands and I'm going to obey him. But there's a word that just gripped me tonight and I just believe God wants me to share this. And it's about the rich man. He said, I'm going to 
build bigger barns. I'm going to tear down the barns that I have, and I'm going to replace them with bigger barns. And did you know what God said to him? God spoke to him and said, You fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Did you realize after God spoke that word to him, he didn't have but 24 hours left to live, if that. Because God said, this night your soul will be required of you. So, if you're one of those types of people that all you have on your mind is your wealth, your possessions, and what all you're going to get in this life, please turn to God today. Because he's saying, that's not the right way to go. Turn to God and repent and ask his forgiveness of your sins. And God will not turn you away. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.